Hi and welcome again to Tech It Out. This is just a short video really for those of you who have received a new hard drive over Christmas. Maybe you've bought it yourself. Maybe it's to upgrade your system in some way. Perhaps your old drive is a bit old and haggard. Sort of like me I suppose. Or maybe your old drive is getting a little slow in its old age. And the speed of transfers are not as good as they used to be. Now you may have bought a new drive for extra storage capacity and perhaps your old one was getting a bit full. So you've bought on yourself a standard new mechanical hard drive. Or maybe you wanted a bit more speed from your system so you've bought a fancy new SSD hard drive. You may even have combined both worlds together really and bought yourself a hybrid hard drive. Standard mechanical one with a built-in SSD or even gone as far as to get the fastest hard drives on the market, the PCIe versions. No matter which one you've got, they all plug in the same way. They have the standard data cable and a power cable. Now to fit them into the system, I'll link to my previous video of my build. A little bit of it is here. The physical fitting of the drives is quite straightforward. Variations are shown in my video, from the screw fittings through to the slide-in. And here, of course, where I fitted mine using a very strong double-sided adhesive Velcro tape. But the whole point of this video really is not the fitting of the hard drive, but how to get all your operating system onto the new hard drive so you can actually use it as your main drive instead of being stuck with the old slow or full drive that you have at the moment. To do this we're going to use a piece of software from Farstone Technologies called Drive Clone 11. As a free download if you Google Drive Clone 11 and Farstone you'll be able to find the free version. Make sure you get it from the Farstone website. As you see here you've got the cloning, you've got multiple other options as well you can do. First thing we do though is check that our hard drive is registered on our system. Now this is a Windows system of course and this video is only for Windows. So we open up the device manager and go to disk management and you'll see this which is the page with all the disk drives on it. And this is my main drive. Now my main drive is a PCIe drive and that's down and registered as the C drive. My backup drive is below it. That's on a USB 3, so that's an external drive. And then we have this the F drive, which is a RAID 0 SSD drive. There's two SSDs in RAID 0, so it shows up as one drive. And that's the one I'm going to be using to demonstrate. I'm not going to go through the whole process, because I don't really need to transfer my operating system, but I can show you how it's done using the software. Now we need to check and make sure that we've got the right drive. So always click on properties, check the drive size, make sure it matches with your new drive. Now all we do is click on one time cloning. And a very similar window will open up here once it's discovered all the drives. This is the drive we're going to clone from. Now there's that one that I pointed out earlier, the F drive. We're going to clone to that and not from it though. What we need to do is find the C drive. Click on the main volume and not the drive itself because we want to get everything that's on that hard drive, not just the operating system. You need all the other files as well. So click on that head point there and then we choose the drive that we're going to actually copy the operating system to. So the F drive and again click on the head point, not on the drive itself because we're going to fill up the whole drive. 
All you have to do now is click on the next button once you've double checked you've got the right drives and follow the prompts. First thing it will do is it will format the new drive that you're copying to and then you click again one more OK button and away it goes. It'll take about an hour depending on how fast your system is. Some may go faster, others of course may go slower but at maximum I would imagine it would take no more than two hours not unless you've got a really really old slow system. And that's it. It is really as simple as that. Once it's completed transferring the files, it'll check the files for you and then it'll say it's completed. At that point you switch the computer off, unplug the two wires from the old drive, leave the new drive plugged in and then reboot the computer from the new drive. Once it's rebooted it will take a few moments for new drivers to be installed and then after that everything should work just as it did before but now you'll have a new bigger faster hard drive with your operating system on again thank you for watching